5252. Thousands stand up to bullying in order to save lives. Tonight, people gathered across the world to raise awareness about this problem. One of the events, right here at our own state capitol. Allison Himaho was there as well, and she tells us why advocates say it's an epidemic that can be prevented. A flip-flop, a rollerblade, the small signs a child was here. But for some parents, they're all that's left to cling to. Our son um, was assaulted his last day of eighth grade um, in 2002 as a welcome to high school hazing. Shortly thereafter, even though we had talked about it, we talked about filing charges, Matt ended his life. And Matt is not alone. Christina and Tempest and Crystal Alex. Eight Michigan children, 125 worldwide, all dead because they couldn't Ian bear Hill, the bullying. It leaves them feeling very alone, very useless, and very unwanted. It's not healthy, and we have to begin to do something about it. So this group came together to stand up to the bullies. That's why nights like this are important, because it brings to the forefront what we are doing one person to another. And they hope it gets lawmakers to listen. We currently have the bill, Matt Safe School Law, which will require school districts to have an anti-bullying policy. It's a bill they've been fighting for for 10 years. It's currently sitting in a Senate committee, but they hope this event will get lawmakers to act. People need to call, write, and email their senators and say, yes, we need this. So bullying doesn't claim another life. In Lansing, Allison Himoho, 6 News. And if you'd like to help with the anti-bullying effort, you can head to the website mattepling.com.